We're going to talk about the new album, Dirty Computer, here in a second, but you brought Prince up, and I'm wondering how that whole process works. I mean, he clearly saw some talent in you. Where was the connection? And does he just call you up out of the blue one day and say, hey, my name is Prince. Um, I think you got some talent. Let's work together. How, how did the whole mentorship even start? Well, it's funny that you say call. He actually did call me. Did he really? Yes. Did you hang up? Go, this, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, I, I almost did. Um, <laughs> it's it's difficult. I mean, this is a great memory, you know, but it's obviously bittersweet because I yeah. do miss him. And um, because we were close, it wasn't just like a distant person. I, I lost a musical hero. I lost a friend and someone who, you know, I knew I knew personally. But I'll tell you this short story. His DJ, DJ, DJ Rashida came backstage uh, at a show I had done in L.A., and I was opening up for an artist named Raphael Sadiq. And she gives me this phone backstage. I'm 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 freaking out because I just came came off stage. I've just come off stage and I had a sinus infection and I didn't think I did a great job. And she was knocking on my door and she was like, Hey, I have someone on the phone for you. I'm like, What? Who are you? And she gives me the cell phone and I just hear this voice say, Hello, Janelle. And I'm like, Hello, hi, hello. This is Prince. <laughs> Who? Prince. What? And she's like nodding like, yeah, it's him. Like it's really it's him. him. You don't like, believe talk, it, right? Talk, talk. And I was like, wow, it's such, you know, an honor to hear your voice. He was like, likewise. <laughs> I really, really love what you're doing in the music industry. And I hate I did not come to your show. I got the times mixed up. And I was like, you were going to come. I was just freaking out of yeah. the thought Aww. of him. First of all, he was going to come see that show. And I was happy he didn't because I did not think I did a good job. <laughs> that was the um, universe working for you yes, right there. Right? Despite what people were saying out, you know, about the show, I was like, no, it was great. And so um, he just invited me over to Paisley Park. He was like, would you like to come to Paisley Park? And, I mean, not Paisley Park. So scratch that because we were in L.A. Okay. So, so he just invited us over. He said, would you like to come to a jam session? And I was like, a jam session? He was like, yeah, you know, when people get together and jam. <laughs> And I was like, uh, yes, I would love that. He was like, all right, see you then. Click. <laughs> That's and, it. and it was the greatest call of my life. Wow. Oh, you know, since then, we we have had an, a relationship where he um, allowed us to open up for him in Madison Square Garden Jeez. at the Forum. Um, in fact, I gave him my first full length album, The Ark Android, on a CD. I burnt it at Paisley Park and uh, wrote out all the, the songs and you know, he was on my last album. I mean, I just have so I have to thank him. I always try to speak his name and honor him as much as I can because I don't think, uh, you know, without his groundwork and the groundwork that he laid with Paisley Park, I don't think I would or, or Wonderland Records or Wonderland Art Society, my collective, I don't think we would know how far we could take it. So wow. well, thankful. I mean, he's li he's living on in your music because we definitely hear, hear that it, yeah. when we're listening to Q100 mm -hmm. and when we hear your latest single and w knowing what a tremendous mentor he was. We were talking about this recently on the show and, and Bert's close mentor passed away not that long ago. And he still speaks to him. Literally, I will talk to him and ask him for advice. So, oh, I, yeah, I would let, I, I mean, that. do you, do you still, do you still talk to him and like seek his advice from like a, another place? I still feel his presence. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a real thing. I still feel his presence. I don't, I don't feel, I don't feel alone um, uh, in this journey. The Bird Show.